No, I remember fucking trying to use the UAV in the goddamn fucking uh, VR missions. Oh. And I could not control it for the life of me, the fucking aim. It was so ass. Alright. I uh, used it once, but it's a suicide drone. It's not. No, it's. it's ha tough... That's hard there. Is that's there hard anyone hard. that wants to do dedicated flying tonight for the ship? Yeah. Um, if you want to, please slot now and then push through. That way I can see it on my side since I'm holding the map screen. I'll give that a minute. Is it possible to crash the ship? No one is going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. no. Uh, no. However, if you land in the water, you will kill the ship's engine, at which point I'll just reset it to where it started. Sam, please, your music. Sam, come on. Push to talk. Please go to push to talk. Man could be playing Ram Ranch when he's playing that shit. I know, right? So I will say it doesn't, like, we don't need a dedicated flyer. You guys can, like, switch the role as needed, but someone is going to need to fly this thing. So whoa, whoa, keep that in mind. So uh, if you want to fly it, take the captain slot and push through. Uh, otherwise, I'm just waiting to see if I have that because then you guys need to make a system on how you're going to do that. What is Yilan 001? You have not updated or added to, uh, Liru's add-ons. You need to, uh, if you have Liru's add-ons loaded, you need to Alt F4 your game and then repair it. If you don't have it loaded, then you just need to load it. This is why you gotta send in goat team six. Six. load in the right stuff. Now. You got my <laughs> now, thankfully, this is actually a great op you can late join because you're all going to be sitting in a debug corner anyway to do all of this. So, Lolo's dedicated flight. All right, the rest of you take Skatari slots, push in. Let's go. Devour King, thank you for the 11 month resub. Right I hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. My laptop. Now, uh, when I see a majority of you uh, having. Uh, blue square uh, rectangles on you instead of hourglasses. That's how I know that uh, you're on the map screen. I will explain how the ship works. But you can scroll into the bottom right and just see how interesting this thing is, uh, to say the least. What the fuck is that? Did you just so call this thing? I see a belly belt Sunglasses? Yes, you did. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> So basic premise, again, we're going to probably run this mission multiple times. Uh, the second or third, like, first one's just going to be a debug run. Second one will be a legitimate run. Third one, we can just go crazy with it. Uh, or if the debug run goes fine, that'll count as the first run. But I have every one of those red positions pre-garrisoned with stuff. Uh, just level the fucking place. Uh, there's also positions where I have aircraft on landing duty that I'll manually take off and engage you. Uh, and the airfield will launch squadrons of stuff at you. Uh, the heretical island marker doesn't represent anything. It just is for the entire thing, and you're already drawing in among us. Okay. So, uh, scrolling on the bottom right, you can see literally 43 turrets and a helicopter marker. Uh, the helicopter is what controls the entire module system. It is a uh, Falcon drone. Uh, so, it's as maneuverable as a little bird. Uh, for the pilot, I would not recommend you use auto hover. I would stabilize it manually because if you use auto hover, it starts jittering the entire ship back and forth. And it makes it really difficult to use the guns. The helicopter doesn't look like it's jittering, but since it has stuff attached to it for a few hundred meters front and back, it will kind of jitter it back and forth and make the aim a little difficult. Now, Send we're going to be literally spawning six. in a box yeah. right here. The box is invincible. You're all invincible. In the future, I plan on making a bridge for the ship and then having it off station and try and kill triggers to explosive charges in the bridge or if the ship blows up, you'll all blow up, which I'll find funny. But, uh, God fucking damn it. Can you guys, like, pay attention and just listen to something I literally spent five hours last night building, please? Please, I assure you, you'll have plenty of time. As I scroll out, Sam's drawn a giant among us. I can't. I can't escape this, can I? All right. Well, I hope you all die. We're listening. Uh, there are, you know, I think I'll just do the, uh, no, 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 I'll, I'll explain more and uh, this, and then I'll um, show you guys how to manually control everything once I gather you all around. But then again, I know some of you are joining late, so it's better if I do the entire brief here. So uh, there are 43 different turrets on this ship. Each turret has the infinite ammo script, so feel free to keep firing. Uh, each turret has a damage handler script, which uh, essentially gives it five times the HP that it normally should. 
uh, the standard uh, AGM missiles that the Avengers and Valkyries have will still one or two hit the turret, so be careful. Uh, but you have a shit ton of the turrets anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so these two batteries here, notice I'm not circling the top and bottom ones. Those are all Vanquisher turrets. So they have both uh, HE and AP rounds. They're meant to take on tanks or big things like Titans. Uh, the two on the very top and the two on the very bottom are plasma. They are fast firing. It is basically a Lehman Rust plasma gun that you can spam the shit out of. These three, actually no, it is this one, this one, this one, and no, 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 wait, 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 my bad. Okay, so it's the one all the way in the front and all of the ones on the rear, these are all uh, Hydra Bolters. Uh, the difference between a regular Bolter and a Hydra Bolter is they fire about 10 times quicker. Uh, they are meant to be air cover as well as gr general ground suppression. They are located all above and below the ship. Uh, it's basically give it that fighter coverage. These two, which I almost included, are two Vulcan Punisher cannons, which are Titan Punishers, which fire super quick. Uh, 30 millimeter HE rounds, basically think of it as a GAU-8. Uh, except a lot a bigger of a spread. Uh, that is mainly meant for uh, fighter defense. And then this is an underbarrel cannon uh, called the main gun. It is a turbo laser. And it will fuck shit up. That is the best way I can describe it. So please don't hog a turret. Feel free to share around. There's how many of you? Like less than about 15 or 16 of you. There's 40 plus turrets. Go nuts. Um... But there is a certain way that you need to uh, actually interact with the turrets. So for the uh, the Falcon drone, please check off the autonomous box. It's going to be filled by default. Turn that off. Uh, otherwise, it's going to infinitely fly upward if you get out of it. Uh, feel free to stabilize it, though, and then switch to a turret if you want to. Again, um, try not to uh, put it in an auto hover because it will jitter the guns. But you can, you can experiment with it because, again, this is a test run. Um... But otherwise, the, uh, the helicopter itself, I took away of all of its armaments because I want you to focus on the other stuff. Now, um, for the rest of the turret guns, you can, uh, I want to say for this run, I want you all to go down the list and turn off all of their autonomy. I want to have all of you for this first run uh, be the guys uh, manually gunning the turrets uh, just to see what happens. Uh, for the next run, I might change that, but I just want to test if I have a player base actually operating the guns manually, how they do. Um, because there's some advantages with that because some of the deck guns, if they go in certain angles, they will hit each other and blow each other up, which can be pretty funny. Um, but let's see. Otherwise, the Falcon drone is invincible. Uh, you could technically land the ship with the Falcon drone because everything's attached to it. Just don't land it in the water because that'll kill the engine and I'll have to pull it back to its, uh, spawn box, uh, which is what the helicopter drone's currently sitting on, uh, and repair the engine and then you guys will be able to fly back in. Um, I also don't know if, um... Controlling the turret, uh, excuse me, the helicopter via UAV op, uh, drone terminal will uh, change its invulnerability because I've noticed in the uh, past few months, whenever I give you guys an invincible asset to use uh, and you get in and out of it, for whatever reason, that resets its invincibility. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that with the UAVs. Uh, but now, final piece of information. This one is absolutely critical. To gun the turrets, it's a different method than the traditional method of you just select it and then you can hit the driver gunner seat from there. You have to select the turret you want, which they're all labeled, by the way. Uh, select the one you want and uh, then get out of the UAV menu. Uh, and then you'll get scroll wheel options to either take the UAV controls or take UAV turret controls. Take UAV turret controls. Do not take UAV controls, because if you take UAV controls, you're going to bug out the turret and bug out your interface, and there's a 50-50 that you're going to be stuck uh, on that uh, viewport, and there's nothing I can do to fix you. So it is absolutely vital you take the UAV turret controls. And the reason you have to do it that way is because they made the turrets so that they can either be manually gunned and crewed or AI gunned and crewed. So they had to Frankenstein this method to make it work. So... Keep that in mind. Are there any questions? All right, we're going to all be on 5-0 so I can talk with you all. We should, since we're all going to be in the same spot, there shouldn't be a radio issue. But again, that's something else we're kind of testing for this scenario. So, yeah, otherwise, uh, the driver is also considered the captain. So, Lolo, you picked that slot, right? Ho, ho. You basically dictate where they go and what they shoot at the whole objective is to just glass the damn island and kill everything so uh, i would also recommend you turn your view distance up to like four clicks 
uh, so you can see everything. Three to four clicks, if you have a weaker system, go closer to three, but it is, you're, you're operating very long range guns. The uh, turrets that you have uh, usually engage things at about two and a half clicks away, so keep that in mind. But again, uh, we'll go over a few things once I spawn you all in, and uh, let's see how this goes. Good luck. All right. One second. I think I need to turn on. There we go. My T far plug in. That's hey, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's not normal. Yeah, no, that's because he has an Astartes head. It's fine. All right. Everyone get on 5 0. I'm going to go over everything again. Uh, so you have a scroll wheel option, open UAV terminal. And then you have all of those systems labeled. You'll also notice there is a little box that comes up. And you'll also start seeing circles with uh, slashes in them to indicate people are on those other turrets. So that just means ones you can't control. But once you do that, again, especially if you click on a turret, you'll see that the driver and gunner connections don't come up. You have to get out of this menu hit with the escape key and then take UAV turret controls. And then you'll be able to use it. And then to uh, do uh, get out of it, you just release UAV control, and then you can switch it. Now, that might just be the uh, AI's autonomy already firing, or you guys firing, which, by the way, again, infinite ammo is a thing. But what I'd like you all to do is to go into... Um, let me do, release those controls real quick. Uh, go into your open UAV terminal, and I want you to go down the list and turn off autonomy for everything. Um, so that the turrets don't fire on their own, everything doesn't fire on their own. Uh, just so we don't have that, because, again, I want to see you guys do it all manually. So feel free to go down that list. Uh, feel free to jump by the controls. Uh, Captain, you get to call if you're going left or right side, uh, port or starboard, but I doubt any of them know port or starboard, so just say left or right. And then, you know, hopefully... Hopefully they'll go and, uh, get on the left or right side cannons if you want to broadside something. Send in go okay. team six. Sounds good. And again, I would recommend you put your render distance up to like three or four clicks because it'll it'll be cool, trust me. Alright, any questions? No. Alright. Well, feel free to sort yourselves on five zero. I will be listening and uh cutting in there. If I need to say something, I'll say break, break, break. Uh otherwise, yeah, feel free to feel free to start. Go nuts. Oh, that would be the main cannon. By the way, um, hold up, hold up. Okay, guys, stop firing for a second. Uh, questions, go. For the driver thingy, I have to get in the driver's seat, right? Not in the gunner. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can actually kill, control driver from that because it's a vanilla uh, system. But, um, yeah, it might take you. You're gonna have to hold shift for a little bit to uh, actually bring it up, but just be patient with it. Um, it'll. Uh, eventually take off. Again, there's still crash in the water, but it is set to invincible, so hopefully it'll be fine. Um, also, if you need to turn down your volume, which, um, you know, just in case something's too loud for you, hit escape, configure, add-on options, go down. Can you please stop firing the laser gun while I'm speaking? Thank you. Uh, you then need to go to ace volume, and then you can set a custom percentage there, and then to actually set that to a keybind, uh, go back to where you have the general escape menu interface, go to configure, Controls, configure add-ons, Ace Common, I believe has a uh, volume. If I'm wrong, nope, it's there. It's towards the bottom. Uh, and then you can shift a button for that because we don't do earplugs in 40K because a lot of the weapons override earplugs. So if that laser's too loud for you, feel free to adjust that accordingly. But otherwise, that's it. Ask any questions you have on 5-0. And uh, yeah, good luck. 5-0, check. Good, check. 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 No. But everybody's in a gun, right? Nah, I'm just taking them off autom autonomous. Yep, again, take I'm them all off of autonomy and uh, then feel free to get started. I'm stupid. How do I change my view distance? How do I even get in the turret? If you want to change your view distance, hit escape, configure, add on options. Under the add on on the client section slash tab, scroll down to ace volume. Excuse me, not ace volume, ace view distance uh, limiter. And then you can set those three dials for on foot vehicle and air. Just set them all evenly. 
because I forget which ones the drone specifically control. I think it's land vehicle, but that would be your best bet. Awesome, thank you. All right, let me give some shout outs here. Faded Dark, thanks for the 25 month resub. Something Mad, okay. thanks for the Last resub as They're well. And I think I already gave a shout out to Devour. But the rest of you, oh no, and Chill Zone, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Hope the three of you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this specific scenario. Now, so far, so good. It is framing because we have the entire um, map garrisoned here. So, Pilot, I'd also recommend you try to minimize the uh, the jitteriness of that vehicle uh, as much as you can. Try to make it smooth because that means your gunners are going to have a harder time firing. But feel free to also increase your speed. Um actually to get closer but then again if people just turn up their render distance and start firing they should be good uh, i am now going to initiate global commands here so you might have stuff start taking off and uh, engaging you good luck all right so standard thing i want to test here global ai skill the universal one i like to do We're going to start taking off aircraft and throwing them at them. Copy that. Because they started engaging. So we'll probably run this a few times just to see how things go. But I'm already uh, rather excited for this one. So we've already lost two turrets, I believe, to friendly fire. Or the uh, Valkyries have already taken off and fired a, um, their AGMs. Whoop! <laughs> Sounds like they're having fun. Uh, this will be so I can hear them from uh, uh, far. Different, um, different stuff like that as well. Yep, they have multiple different uh, viewerships, so uh, feel free to experiment with them. One fly I'm taking off from the uh, north side. But yeah, expect this to be a little framey, but hey. Change, uh without having to release uh, UV control? Uh, unfortunately not because of how they're coded. And then thank you for that. Has everyone have eyes on something? Yeah, that, that, that's fly coming in from the north. Oh my god. Now that is an orbital bombardment. Uh, no one's on the multi today, unfortunately. So, um, that's why it's not in the, uh, title Never command. I'll go ahead and turn the tracer effect off, because I know that, uh, that'll make things a little framey, too. So all the turrets firing are player controlled. So a lot of the main guns, because they're close together, I think where they're jerking things while they're, uh... If you see a target, you can rush the uh, While they're engaging, so... That's all right. That's why we have a lot of them, you know? Hazmat, that's good, man. Thanks for the 11-month resub. Hope you join the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario.
All right, I need to start taking off the rest of the Valkyries. Good God. Hydra's gonna start engaging. I think that's all the Valkyries at that point. Let me go ahead and start deleting some stuff as well. Good God. Very proud about this one. Now, when I use this for TOC, also known as the 700, since they rebranded, the ship's going to be a lot smaller, but that's going to be scaled, you know, for like a you know 60-person operation. Uh oh. Oh my God. So yeah, turning the AI automation off and giving it to the players, it does make it a little tougher. But Lazy Minion, Locutus of Borg, thank you so much for the resubs. I hope you both keep enjoying the operations. I hope this is a piece. <laughs> Bro, I want to build a Borg cube out of the frickin' Necron models now. That's what I want. Hell yeah. Yeah, you can see all the ones that they're controlling. Next pay for pain is going to be a mini pay for pain with TOC on the 15th. That's why we're testing assets like these, because, uh... <laughs> They're not gonna be as big, I but. Oh my god. We got down in front. Do we have a main gun? Can you use the main gun to the down in front? No, I think the TIOW, yeah, this one. Don't need to make up, you have enough DACA to do this job with. A bunch of thunderbolts to be used. God, I'm gonna add you. Uh, we try all the guns. Is anyone not trying any gun? But the concept works. Checkpoint RP is going to be sometime this month as well. I forget what day I scheduled it for specifically, but... Ah, oh, I'm just so proud of this damn thing. Messy. Ready for Ready. 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 
enemies around me. Ah, we're surrounded. Shoot everywhere. Ah. Uh, Titan Southeast. Titan Southeast. They just insta killed it. Oh my god. Bro, I just spawned him. Bro, I just spawned up. They can't be dead that quickly. <laughs> I think it's that frontal laser, man. That just annihilates everything. Oh my God. Like, good God. This map's a little hilly, but I'll try to put some tanks down. But good God, like, that's just... It is very framey though, but that's to be, I expected that because of uh, this ship, but the, that's the whole reason why this is a stress test. Because anything I'll use in actual operations will be uh, a lot smaller than this, but this was just a stress test. God, this thing is beautiful. Well, that front laser is meant to be its main cannon, so yeah, it is meant to just annihilate everything. Bro, I, I think those... Uh, break, 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 guys. I, I think those Titans are good. I, I really think they're good. Guys, you're hitting them with so much force, you're literally pushing Titan corpses aside. Like, <laughs> you killed them in the first, like, 30 seconds, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm going to do a quick clean up because those titans are very framey. Uh, oh my god. What the fuck did we hit? Our job is to turn this place to glass, correct? Yes, but, you know, kill all the... Oh no. Guys, why is there an uh, intact city to the northwest that not destroyed already? More houses, he says. Uh, is it Michael Jordan that says F them kids? Because that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. How big are these things again? Let's see what happens. I'm scared. Guys, I'm scared. This is this is the only thing I can think of. Uh, big 
flying oh, south. Dropships are coming. They're not dropships. Oh, oh my god! Lolo, <laughs> uh, you good? Yeah, there's something in the air. Yeah. Stop. Do a barrel roll. I went in, in rapid fire machine gun. Uh, we have UFO in the, uh, UFOs in the air to the south. Yeah. We got the proper name for them. I'm I'm just throwing everything. Also, big things to the southeast on the ground. I'm just I'm just throwing everything. On the way. Oh my God. One second. Hydra spam the Zenos. Yeah, they're getting hit. All right. They're dire directly below us. They're out of the arc on the bottom guns. Okay. Whoop! Oh my god. <laughs> Lola. Welcome to Texas, boys. <laughs> Lola. Lolo, you just smacked one like a baseball bat. Texas doesn't make me feel so good. I don't like this. Consecutive faces are you, Nevis. Texas is giving me motion sickness. Do a barrel roll. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. So if I wanted to make this less laggy, I'd take away the Hydra uh, auto cannons. We'd use regular uh, bolters and I'd take the bottom laser cannon out because those are the ones creating so many particle effects. Which <laughs> No, you just rammed it. Your armor is superior. <laughs> oh my god! Finally! <laughs> it's not their health that's the issue, it's your aim. Oh, hey, you finally found those Lehman Rust tanks I sent forever ago. <laughs>
Sorry, we, we joined the space station because we can't hit Ross on the in first place. It's going right for us. Oh, it it dismounted them. I I assure you, it it does something. And why are they needed? One more behind me. What of the base, uh, West Oakers? Those doors are make it very hard to hit. Did, did, did you say there was planes to the north? Like, oh my god, that's more fucking... Oh my god! Did you piss someone off? Yes, god. Ah, god, yeah. <laughs> It's too laggy for more titans right now, my god. Yeah, they have unlimited ammo. I am trying to crash the server right now. Let's get some freaking Avengers in here. Cause those will actually engage him. Last trick I'll tell you, if someone yells an AGM is coming, if you just hold Q and E and spin rapidly, uh, it fucks up the missile's pathfinding. <laughs> There's a... Try spinning! That's a good trick! Not that type of spinning, but okay, sure. You guys are starting to sound more like the heretics, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just drag glitched that thing, but you know what? It's okay. Why am I hearing... Yeah, 
The main cannon was destroyed. Woo! So I'm gonna level with you guys. Uh, Lolo, you gotta call when you do an evasive maneuver like that because you've lost at least 75% of your own turrets because you accidentally shoot the uh, friendly turret when you do a sharp turn like that. Lolo, what did I just say? Damn it, Lolo! <laughs> <laughs> we court Marshal Lolo now! Commissar! He's the captain, though we can't! We actually can't! Execute him! Captain, Commissar can! Oh, also, um, there, there's, uh, something big to the south, guys, on the southern tip. You should go take that out. Nah. Still a social after us, by the way. That little maneuver just Come cost on, us 30% of our firepower. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Oh Our my fire? god. We, we're already doing it, putting it in a light of glory. The server is so throttled on the CP right now, they're not even fighting back at this point. <laughs> that beeping you're hearing, the bup, 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 that means their shields are down. Trying to at least have these things return fire. They do have some no, ships still. No, 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 no. Oh no! You're all right. So you're starting to see those purple lasers were hostile. Someone, when I was making this last night, said this reminded them of uh, Stargate SG-1 and Stargate Atlantis uh, Daedalus classes and the Prometheus class. And yeah, yeah, it honestly is. <laughs> it honestly is. Hey, Captain Harrow, I'm on looking. Skeetches, thanks for the 34 month resub. New Year, same shit. The good shit. Yep. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ooh, nasty hit to the front. Hey, why did you turn to the enemy? Okay, you'll be fine. Boys, it's nice serving with you. One of the titles was 
Shackleheads, you ready for more? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> all right. I'll be honest. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Now they're gonna know you're coming. All right. Let's let's pretend they had a second to prepare. Um. So, the, uh, and the only criticism I have is if you're going to do evasive maneuvers or sharp turns, Lolo, make sure you let people know, because honestly, you lost like 80% of your turrets to just accidentally shooting yourselves, which was pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, when uh, someone's on the executioner and yep. you do a sharp turn, you just... You, you will plasma your friendly ball. turret. Yeah, a lot of that happened. But uh, Lolo, you want a you wanna gun? Damon, you got to go to push to talk, man. I hear you heavy breathing, and it's really, really awkward. <laughs> Uh, someone else want to fly uh, instead of Lolo? Someone want to give it a shot? How do you yeah. fly? Uh, care yeah. like a little bird, literally like a little bird. Yeah, then don't choose. So did you use the little bird, bird model? <laughs> because that's a little too maneuverable. <laughs> it little birds are super freaking maneuverable in vanilla, man. Because it's it's modeled off of a vanilla little bird. To be perfectly honest. I'll do it. All right, just um go back to roll select and switch out. And uh, this time I'm gonna I'm just gonna openly spam shit at you. So uh, yeah, I will start as soon as I see that thing taken out um, or taken off. So. So do, do we have to turn off the auto aim this time? Thing? Uh, if you guys want to turn off, so the thing with uh, autonomous aiming is the AI will just constantly shoot and they won't hold their fire if there's a friendly thing in the way. So you are gonna lose a few turrets to friendly fire that way. Uh, especially if you do evasive maneuvers like that. So I'm going to leave it up to you. But if you want to see just how deadly this thing can be, keep it on. But again, keep uh, turn off the automa uh, automation for the uh, drive system because uh, no it uh, doesn't no, work. Also, um, either tomorrow or next week, we'll, we'll have two of these, and I'll let you guys form into two teams, and you can kill each other. Let's go. Can I raid their ship? Uh, you can try, but if I see someone try to ram something, I'm just gonna start end keying random things until someone goes down. <laughs> all right, That's we all good? Let's go. Yeah. All right, round two. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right. Remember to set your radios to 5 0, boys. 5 0, check. All right, today's Silent Night is our captain. Oh my god. Check. Yeah, you wasted no time with that one, did you? Huh? Instantly, they shoot the massive big death laser. Because, of course, they do. Oh, because they're actually already starting to snipe things. All right. Well, you guys didn't take off yet, but you're already shooting that stuff. So I'm going to start aggroing them. Good luck. Well, that wasn't the part of the plan. It works. We have a plan? <laughs> we have a plan? <laughs> yeah, so we did not take off, Let's so go. it wouldn't spawn shit. We had a plan? Now, I think theoretically selecting all of them like this should let me fuel them all up at once, but. All right. Here we go. Well, boys, it's a new wall, it's a new day. Wait. Standing by.
Oh, they're doing that glitch. Alright, that's fine. Let's see what happens. Crowded airspace, yep. Oh uh, yeah, we restarted because they wanted to ram a Titan with the ship, and they blew up. This is what their interface looks like in these turrets. Uh, we don't see the little lead marker they get, but they get a lead marker for all these boxes when they lock on with the arcade. But yeah, it's incredibly framey right now, because again, this is just a stress test. The ships all build like for actual 60 player ops are going to be much smaller, but <laughs> this is just to see if the concept's possible in the first place. Now the Avengers are starting to put hull damage on them. Ooh, they lost one of the Punisher turrets early on. They lost the front bolter and the main gun early on as well. But notice how the laser is not being utilized now and these frames are actually a lot better. I just want to point out that when that laser turret is not being fired, the frames jump up by five. Also, you've lost like 30% of your turrets already because I think the autonomy has just been blowing each other up yeah. as usual. Where we're going, we don't need frames. Don't let go of the trigger, guys. Awaiting orders. Ready. I don't think I've stopped firing in the past five minutes. I'm pretty sure I saw some of the Valkyrie just just dive on the ground instead of actually flying. Awaiting orders. Valkyrie's behind us. Ready for orders. Oh my God. Get rammed. Oh, never mind. There he is. No, we ram with the buck. Uh, the right of Valkyrie will be finished right now. Let's turn that back on, shall we? Now, if I had the frames for it, I'd put smoke modules in these so it would look like engines were actually turned on, but it's not worth it, you know? Uh, Titan's on the runway. Titan's spotted. Spread the fire. Firing at will. Target's in the town. Oh, they already frickin' booped one. Oh my gosh. Fire back! I don't think they're in range, that's why. Yeah, we have, but I can't get my nose down properly enough. There we go, now we're starting to see guns up. Don't go close to the runway, otherwise we can't get some guns down. Just get lower. Oh god. Yes. We can't shoot them, the yeah. Back with point of defense, sirs, can't shoot off the back because I'm hitting a visible 
Handling it. Hmm? I like those fires because apparently the sun, they have a bigger hitbox than they actually look like. like the That's because of the shields. Or are you talking about your turrets? Yeah, it's it's because of the turns and uh, the objects you're on can be a little wonky, but I mean it's the best I can do. I mean this is a prototype, so. It's still fun. Right now I have I have one flight who's literally in an area I can't shoot him at. <laughs> this is the prototype, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. I'm I'm scared that <laughs> Looks like all the Titans on the airfield is dead. Wait. Never mind, one of us is on there's a little shield up. Running them. I command all fire on that Titan. All fire on that Titan. We're on the wrong side. Yeah, back where the uh, anti-air gun is now not engaging. Valkyries inbound, uh, northeast, four kilometers from closing. That's changing, uh, changing to northeast. It teleported. Heresy, I call heresy. I can't even, like, align them properly. <laughs> Oh, we do have Bane Blades. Yeah, you're right. Everybody there is a tank flying in the air. I got the air. Yeah. Now ruin someone's sunbathing. Jeez, I can't even spawn him in. I think one of those tanks is still off. We have a main blade to the southeast. Yeah, to the southeast, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, Oh god, the plasma spam! The plasma turret spam! Oh my god, they hit the tail of that Valk and it's just in a death spin. Jesus. Jesus. God, Emperor. Oh. The Bone Blade I have to manually import and, uh... I don't have any of the orc ships ready because I put all my time in this prototype. because they have surface snapping when you put them down like this, but when you copy paste them, it doesn't have that surface snapping, so they clip into the ground and freak out. Let's send a theory rush into glass and smash that glass.
Uh, I could throw the orc mechs at him, but I'd have to do attachment commands with him manually. Here, I'll, um, I'll direct him to fly south and I'll set a few of those up. I mean, really, it would just be the mechs, though, with the Bane Blades. I can put those in separately. The four dead on the north, by west on side. I'll fire on that tice my friends. For the tice. The toasters. You need them to make more toasters. My god. The sound of the impacts are just scary in itself. All right, break, 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 guys. You have a choice, north or south. Choose wisely. North. North. South, south. We're facing that direction already. Yeah, south, south, south. All right, let me go ahead and clean up the frickin' fifteen burning titans. If you don't <laughs> mind. Yeah. Yeah, From the beast the episode for the anime people. I just found there. Thunderbending is heretic. Remember, our mission is to glass the place too, so. Yep, we're glassing and then we're breaking that glass. Not the town again. Uh, we have stompers. Well, what? Yeah, this is is cool. The thing, uh, Remember, throw everything guy in one stomper because they both, if they believe they can, they're invincible, they are invincible. <laughs> I have an idea. Come to Papa. I'll wait till these get, uh, destroyed. How did you break the heli? <laughs> I told you, we'll find a way to break everything. Alright. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's okay, it's over. Fire. We would be fine. If it's not covered in plasma, the mission is not over. I'm Balsa. <laughs> that described the entire tier speed right there. Awaiting orders. Yes, need to repair the engine, boys. Do you yes, see the field of the aircraft to the north? Uh, fuck them. We're getting locked. Ah, oh, crap! Northwest! Northwest! In the bed! In the air! Woohoo! In the head, in the direction. Missiles are inbound.
Alright, we're just gonna slowly. Alright, well, I've got one last one I want to try. We're going to execute this man for his crimes against Skyrim and our people. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're all invincible. Wait. Oh shit, never mind. What was that? Shoot, shoot, shoot. invincibility. I'm invincible. I think he dies. I died. Oh, TWL, I accidentally hit the kickoff button. Um, <laughs> whoops. You know what? I, I think we're going to wrap it up there, to be perfectly honest. Just because there's one more thing I want to try, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Had plasma, I don't have any more. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll ask for general feedback. I'm just going to consider this open. I hope you had fun. I hope that was a nice break from other stuff Arma can do. But again, that was meant to be a super laggy stress test because I wanted to build a, a big freaking ship and just see what happened to see if it's possible. And uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's possible. I mean, I had 20 Ooh. Titans on the ground at one point. <laughs> what is that my like? computer's, yeah, my computer's trash and I like wasn't really experiencing that many frame mm -hmm. drops. So I'd say it's pretty good. Sure. And everything, I, I was down to like 11 FPS at some point when the main gun fired. Yeah. <laughs> well, because that thing is not meant to be a spam laser. It's meant to fire like one little burst and then take like 30 seconds to reload. So, uh, it's good we know that now. <laughs> Did you say the, bird, the, the helicopter was invincible? Yeah, you still died with it somehow, so I'll look into that. <laughs> yeah, Goober. <laughs> Supposedly, we were all set to invincible too, but we found out that that also wasn't true. Yeah. Too powerful for Those rat here. bastards lied to me. Let me go put feedback like up. Oh, uh, let me also end my stream real quick. All right. So, um, yeah, feel free to go watch the VOD if you're coming in late. I'm going to try to get this up tomorrow because uh, that was pretty dope. So thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. We will have more tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time, including some PVP with some smaller ships and maybe some PVP with the bigger ships. And we'll get into that little thing I wanted to test with the mechs. So otherwise, cheers. Have a good one and go operate operationally. More dev and maybe Daisy with audio jump scares will be on later tonight.